Hey there you, welcome to my gaming corner. My name is Panda Girl and I invite you to sit relax and stay a while and give me the chance to make you smile. Welcome to Enotria The Last Song. This is a Souls-like game based on Italian folklore. It looks super gorgeous, very interesting, and you have some interesting masks that you get to equip. After finishing Elden Ring, I was very keen on another Souls-like, so thank you so much to JAMA Games for inviting me to try this demo. This is an 8 hour long demo, so I'm going to do it in two parts and I don't think I'm going to finish the entire demo. If you would like to try it for yourself though, which you definitely should, there's a link in the description below that will take you to the Steam store where you can download the demo that is entirely free and you can try it for yourself. Remember to also wishlist the game to get notified when it comes out. So I have a continue option because I actually recorded this video before, but there was no audio. So I am going to start from the beginning and re-record everything. So let's get started. Ah, the tree of change bears fruits. Awaken, maskless one. The stage is set. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. Okay. This game looks incredible. You can't tell me you don't think it looks absolutely insane. It is so gorgeous. Honestly. So we just like, we just fell from this tree. I guess like that person might fall from the tree. Um, we do not have a mask, but the character model looks really, really cool. I really, really like this. And I'm very, very curious to figure out more about like the lore and the story and everything as well. And there is going to be a story campaign in the game. So that's something that we can look forward to. So as amazing as this game already is, the developers wanted me to tell you that the Unreal Engine that they're using right now is going to get updated before they release the game, which might be around September, potentially. Uh, so it's going to run even better, which is insane. It already runs so well. That is so crazy. I think it's so cool. Okay, so we can lock on to enemies like we can in most souls like. So when you lock on you have an enemy that goes like that. I already know that there's a roll button, but if you if you lock onto an enemy and you roll, you don't do a roll, you do like a little like jump situation, but you can also roll if you want to by not locking on then. But then you have to be comfortable with not having locked on, which I don't mind too much, but if you uh, struggle with that then, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, I do need to mention I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, but they do suggest that you play with a controller. So I'm just going against the grain to see how it works and see if you can play it with a mouse and keyboard for those who are interested in playing it with a mouse and keyboard. So I just need to mention that too before we continue, <laughs> just in case. Ta -ta -ta -ta! It's pretty cool though. It feels great. It really does. Ah. Okay, I I don't know if I actually ended up parrying. <laughs> I think I did. I'm not very good at parrying. Uh unraveling. So when you break through like their poise or like their stance, like we would call in uh Elden Ring, their poise. Um you essentially get to like finish them off with like a finishing move which is quite nice so it's quite nice so that's what in this game it's called unraveling and when it's filled you can ter temporarily expose them to a finishing strike so you can do something like that which is really 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 cool um so essentially what you do is you just and then you do a finishing strike so you just press your normal attack damage yeah it's really cool it's really cool and you can jump by the way and the jumping animation is awesome i really like it. it doesn't it just look so amazing i think it's so beautiful i'm so interested to learn more about this i'm so excited i do need to mention there have been two patches since I downloaded the demo about a week ago, which is insane. So the developers are like 
on top of it, guys. Like, like I think this is gonna be a really good game when it comes out. I'm very excited to see more of this. And then finishing strike. Woo! You can also do jump attacks and stuff. I'll show you as well. Um, once I can. <laughs> uh, so we can use F2 to, to restore health. Uh, when I played the previous time, I kept on pressing R. And R is to use uh, in the bottom corner. There is like a, a, a couple of things that you can equip. And if you, uh, if you press R, you basically use your other things that you have there. Uh, we have here our first boss, I think. Yeah. Owie! You hurt me! It's not nice. Owie! Owie! Ow! You're not very nice. I'm not doing very well right now, even though I've already done this before. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. I wonder if I should try and parry a bit. Finishing blow! Let's go! Yay! Yeah, I need to maybe take a potion. <laughs> Yay! The doors have opened. And I just got my first mask, which is very exciting. So you can change your... So I got a sword. And... Okay, thank you. <laughs> you can change your mask loadouts. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it's going to tell me now. <laughs> I'm so eager. Uh, the Master's one has up to three loads, loadouts at their disposal, in which all kinds of equipment can be set while at a resting spot, which is really nice. So you don't have to choose specifically, oh, I want to go into uh, a dex build, or I want to have just a strength build, or I want to have just a, an intelligence build. You can have all three of them attached to different masks, which is quite cool. I quite like that. Um, or you can have different loadouts at least, uh, which is quite cool. So we can swap our equip weapon, right? So we've got two weapons at the moment, apparently. Oh, the one is just a little bit different than the other one, right? Then you can hold control and then you can equip your new masks and you can have like your mask uh, load out and everything which is really really cool I think that this is really really cool and very interesting I think it's a very different like way of going about it which I think is really cool oh by the way I I meant I saw this in the first time I played it but there's like music notes and stuff over here and there's like masks all over the floor which is really cool and I think oh, I don't know I think this game is so cool so far <laughs> I absolutely adore everything about it so far. Like, look at all the, like, statues with, like, the musicians and everything. And it's very Italian. It's, it, I think it got it, like, spot on, honestly. You also have your R door burst, so you just press whatever the button is for you to use it, and you essentially, like, burst through things. No! I wanted to get the item first. Um, let's see, I guess. <laughs> Put it over here. Hello? Oh, there we go. I don't know, the movement is great. The visuals are great. The sound effects are so satisfying. <laughs> it's such a good game so far. I cannot believe this is a demo. And I can't believe that they would give you eight hours of content for free in a demo. I think that is absolutely insane. I really appreciate that they did that. Of course I do, but my goodness, I think it's amazing. 
So this is what I was talking about. So we've got our different like things and we can use R to consume because we've got consumables. So the consumable that we have right now is our ammonia sap and it allows the user to recover some health upon damaging an enemy for a brief duration, which is really nice. So it's like a life tap kind of situation. We also have this one. So um, upon use, lose all accumulated memoria to return to the last visited reality knot and the reality knot is like their um, side of grace or bonfire, whatever you know it as, um, whatever game that you've played, souls like you've played. I think it wants me to um, use something, so I'll just throw a cobblestone so that it stops. Here we go, mask lines. So. You also have abilities, which is really cool. So mask lines are powerful ardor abilities. In order to use them, the mask is one needs to land attacks on their enemies, which gradually charges them up, which is really cool. So at the moment, we've got two different abilities, but we have to charge them up first. So we'll have to land attacks here first. Owie, 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 owie. Okay, okay, I get it. Owie. Stop it! Okay, so now we can use our second attack. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, but my problem is... Oh. So that was that was the first ability, sorry. <laughs> I just used all of my potions, oh no. I need to get to a new nut. <laughs> I should use the consumables as well though, definitely should use them. Okay, now we've got some elements as well, like poison, bleed, those kind of things. So they call them all different things as well. So first we've got V's, which inflicts dizzy, which increases damage dealt, but also uh, increases the stamina regeneration uh, at the cost of lower defenses. So you can, yeah. I mean, you know what you know what that means. Uh, then you've got Fatio, uh, which inflicts wicked. It increases one's own elemental power, which is really cool. However, suffering damage causes the attackers to heal themselves, which does is not cool. Uh, then we've got Milano, which inflicts sickness, causing one to suffer damage over time and to spread its effects to nearby entities, which is interesting. Uh, then we've got Gratia, inflicts radiant causing one to recover health over time, which is nice. However, being damaged while afflicted triggers a powerful explosion, which is <laughs> very counterintuitive. So you're healing, but you might explode. Um, <laughs> so this one is the Vis, which inflicts dizzy. So now I'm dizzy, which means that my stamina regen is better and I do more damage, I think, but... Um, Should we use this one? We should use this one. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Ooh, I kind of like this. I kind of like this one. Maybe we'll use this one. How cool. I love that it looks like there's like a stage and there's a reason for it that we'll uh, soon learn. But it's very cool. So this is our first knot. Cool is that sound? Is that not like the coolest sound you've heard? <laughs> so cool. I think it's awesome. <laughs> okay. So when you sit down, of course, you've got your different things. So you can change your loadouts over here. You can choose uh, the path of innovators. So inspiration gained by finding new entries of the compendium can be spent in the path of innovators so unlock powerful perks that can be slotted in any masks which is really cool really really cool so we got so many different things here but we need to first equip mask perks in the loadout menu to activate their effects which we don't have so uh we can also level up so the leveling up is very um straightforward as well so uh this is our loadout menu i don't know why it showed the loadout menu over there um so we've got different things like fortitude fortitude uh, is for your health your attack power and your defense um uh, cunning is for your stamina attack power and defense 
attunement is for your defense and your line charge um this is uh alacrity is for your stamina and your defense uh and eru erudition is uh your adore power as well as your defense which is really cool so these are the different things that you can uh level up i think we'll maybe go for fortitude first but i think we can level up twice potentially so let's do fortitude and maybe alacrity because that stamina that stamina will get you down <laughs> honestly uh how much do we have left 460 which is not enough so here we go we leveled up our first time which is very exciting let's have a look at our loadout so we've got two different masks we've got this mask and then we have another one you can swap between the masks at the bottom and then you can choose what you want there, which is quite cool. This one... Oh! Here we have, like, different things. This wasn't here the, the previous time I played for some reason, so I'm quite excited to have these ones. And you can choose different things. Oh my gosh! These things are here! That's exciting! Okay, so we've got Aspect of the Bruiser. What does that do? The collective experience of a renowned warrior increases maximum health by 10%. That's cool. Elementalist, uh, the collective experience of a renowned spellweaver uh, increases elemental power by 30%. That's cool. Uh, increases status power by 30%. Uh, adore power by 30%. Scholar. And then we've got... Swindler. Increases physical power by 15% nice okay so we've got our warrior our spellcaster assassin or dex build i guess uh we've got another sorcerer kind of situation so we've got two different kind of like but this one's a battle mage which is cool and then we've got the swindler as well Hmm, I think maybe we should do Bruiser. We'll we'll put Aspect of the Bruiser, I think, is good. And then we've got different things. So we've got Upon Dealing Damage, where Stamina Regeneration is briefly increased. That's really nice. Your status power and the damage dealt by finishing attacks are increased. That's really nice. When your health is above a certain threshold, your physical defense is increased. That's really cool. Is there anything else that we can add? There's lots of things that we can add. So we've got Gratia Path. Upon casting the mask line equipped in slot 1, your weapon is briefly infused with Gratia. That's cool. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but it sounds cool. Upon dealing damage, your stamina regeneration is briefly increased. We already have... What is this one? Oh, nothing. Uh, We're not sure. Preparedness. Dodging an attack causes the attacker to be slightly unraveled. Ooh! that is really nice i really like that i can dodge things <laughs> when your health is above a certain threshold your physical defense is to increase we already have that one nice okay so i didn't have this before i don't know what happened um but i didn't have it before for some reason so uh what is this summon vermiglio's scepter and conjure a multitude of photo orbs that relentlessly chase enemies that's really cool. I really like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> shield. Damaging en enemies. That's cool. So we already we only have four. So we can just slot this one here just for now. Oh, and then uh, we can use this one. And then maybe we can use something different. Like this one's really nice. But it's so slow. Yeah, maybe we'll use this one. Okay, we'll use this one. These two. Uh, I used something completely different last time, but it's okay. Uh, a shining gem is refined as the pure steel, giving an excellent physical melee damage negation. That's cool. Okay. Oh, sorry. My bad. Okay. And then we have another one, another mask set. And we can, we can set this one up as well if you really want to. Um... 
This is gem soaked in the tears of dueling mages who tested its anti-magical melee abilities. Cool. So this is essentially then like our mage build to a certain degree, which is quite cool. Uh, okay. And we leveled up, which is very exciting. So now we can continue and then we can go out here and then we can play around a little bit with some of the stuff. I'm pretty sure the health bar and the stamina bar are both bigger than the last time I played. Uh, I wonder if people complained. It would be quite funny if people complained. How beautiful is this? Isn't it so pretty with like the sunflowers and the castles and everything? I think it's so gorgeous. I think it's so absolutely gorgeous. So we've got a couple of enemies here. Uh, essentially, as far as I know, anyone that you can see, you should attack. Uh, as far as I can tell. Hello. Oh! Sorry, dude. Inspiration acquired, kill one townsperson. Really? That's all I needed to do, is I needed to kill one of them, and now I got inspiration for it. My goodness. This is so brutal. <laughs> so we've got one coming here. Here we go, one more. There we go. One more! There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now, what's really cool is that you can pick up these mask shards, right? And then if you get enough of them, you can, like, complete one of the masks, which is really cool. And then you can have another loadout, or you can have another, like, mask or something. I really like this mask, so... <laughs> I'm quite keen on just keeping this mask on for the time being. Um, but, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. There we go. Okay. So. Fresh, locally available <laughs> My goodness, that was so brutal. <laughs> that was so brutal. My goodness. So I know that there is a nut here, so I'm just gonna get the nut before I continue up. Uh, so <laughs> let's get this nut quickly. That was so brutal. I kinda like it though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It's a little bit faster as well than the because the last time I used a great sword and the great sword is so nice and it does so much like uh, stuns damage or poise damage but man it's so slow <laughs> okay uh, let's do some cunning I think cunning would be pretty good too uh, I know that we need to do fortitude as well but we're just gonna focus on cunning. Fortitude and alacrity at, the point, at this point, so. And then we'll see how it goes. at me. There we go. Gosh, oh, she's so annoying. This guy up here is so annoying. Hello? <laughs> what you doing, bro? Coming up to me with a face like that. 
Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so now we picked up inebriating seasoning. So inebriating seasoning is one of your like edible things that you can use. Uh, and it inflicts dizzy. And at first I was kind of like, why would I want to do that? But remember, it increases your stamina and it, uh, your stamina regen and it increases your damage. So not bad. Or is it your health? I think it's your health. Um, then we also have this. Uh, which gives you Memoria, and Memoria are the souls or runes that you get um, from killing people, which is quite cool. So here we have our first, like, official scary fight. This guy is quite strong, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe we're gonna use one of our Ammonia Saps, and I'm gonna try my best to kill this guy, but I don't expect too much from this, because he hits so hard. Weapon and fuse. Weapons can be temporarily imbued with any of the primal elements, causing more damage. Nice. Okay. change back to this one. Woo! I want to change back to this one. <laughs> He's hurting me so much. Oh my gosh, stop it. hurting so much there we go let's go I killed him the first time this time I'm so excited <laughs> oh my gosh so now we got a shard of miserable memory which is exciting and uh we got some other things so let's have a look quickly what we got we got some more consumables so we got him of return so you visit the last reality nod which is quite nice uh you have this one and then the flask of this is if you throw it you you just put these on someone's face uh so you make them dizzy essentially <laughs> is there anything else here i'm pretty sure there was a chest or something here no just lots of memoria so that I can level up and stuff. Very exciting. Oh! I also got a uh, part of his mask shard, which is quite nice. So, the more shards I get, the closer I get to actually completing a mask. And when I complete a mask, I can actually use that mask as well. So. I should probably go and sit down. Probably, but um Ooh. two three Are You just walking away? <laughs> Why are you walking away? <laughs> <laughs> so brutal oh my gosh so crazy i don't know why our arms look like this i'm gonna be very honest with you i don't know why we're so glowy i don't have an issue with it at all though because i think it's really cool um but yeah we're glowy so <laughs> i guess we're special or something <laughs> so unfortunately we don't know exactly what we're doing like like what we're supposed to be doing we just load into this place and we start fighting things and uh honestly like it's okay like i'm okay with 
just, you know, playing around for now and then at some point, you know, we'll figure out what we're doing. Um, but yeah, at the moment we're just kind of like running around killing people <laughs> for no reason. Um, other than the fact that they were going to hit us if we didn't hit them first. So, uh, <laughs> let's see what's in here. We've got one, two enemies. One is a, a bit of a strongish one. The other one, not so much. Owie, you hurt me. Two. Ah! There we go. Let's go. Warrior's Brew. Nice. I like Warrior's Brew. Warrior's Brew is quite nice too. We'll have a look at what Warrior's Brew does in a bit. Nice. Let's do all of the heavy attacks. Because <laughs> they hurt them so much. <laughs> right -o. Oh. We can have a look quickly at what Warrior's Brew does. So Warrior's Brew uh, is a battle tonic, so it increases your physical defense over a short duration, which is quite nice. And then you have Hymn of Vigor, which is really nice. Hymn of Vigor is a whistle that somehow still produces sound. It greatly, greatly boosts stamina regeneration upon use over a certain duration. So everything has like a little italicized message underneath it as well. So we can quickly go through those as well if you really want to. So this one, the Song of Return, which uh, takes you back to the reality knot, says, Piece of a broken mandolin, supposedly dear to Pulcinella. Its strings are still capable of producing a faint tune. Then we have Armonia Sap, gathered from the roots of the Tree of Change that are now spreading throughout the continent. So I think the Tree of Change is going to be something important that we're going to have to note. Uh, then we've got cobblestone. I recognize this. It's part of the wall of my house. Youngsters these days. <laughs> uh, which is quite cute. Then we've got minestrone soup, uh, which is capable of curing the effects of dizzy, by the way. We haven't looked at this one yet. Doesn't that look so delicious, though? And this got me really excited because I was like, oh, maybe there's going to be cooking in the game. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Make no mistake, this is guaranteed to wake up even the numbest fellow. <laughs> Uh, cheap wine produced in Quinta, uh, specifically to be tossed by drunkards during the festivities. This is the Flask of Vies. Then we've got the Faint Shard of the Far Off Remembrance. Very interesting. So it's very interesting that you have these like memoria, the memories that you use to level up and stuff. And you're gathering memories to get stronger, which is very interesting. I wonder how that's going to come into play with the whole game and everything i think is going to be very interesting then you have traditional seizing from the city of kinta all that wine spilled in the fields bore rather odd fruits hmm then we've got an idol dedicated to the ways of song a precious token to all minstrels it has the power to preserve all your memories which is quite cool uh it's quite beautiful as well that we've got little like tears and stuff over here it's very beautiful the details in this game so far <sighs> Very incredible. Really, truly incredible. Um, then we've got um, a battle tonic. Fortifies the body to better withstand the harsh blows from iron and steel alike. Then the last one is used in ancient times by war generals to invigorate their armies. That's why we've got stamina regener regeneration, I guess. So those are the things I really like that there is like extra text that tells you more about things. You kind of get like the gist of like the world and that kind of stuff too, which is really nice. So I think that this is going to be very, very interesting. We've got a couple of enemies here, but I want to get this one first because he's really annoying. Okay, and then this one. Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> you can't evade me. You can't evade me. I am too strong. I am the maskless one. <laughs> I find it very interesting that everyone's like wearing a mask. Like even like the enemies and everything. They also wear masks. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but we'll probably find out at some point. Uh, why there's such a like big... 
Stop it! That hurts me. You're so annoying. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are so annoying. Stop it. Okay, so this is a really, really cool thing that they've added in the game, right? You've got reality glyphs where you go and stand in like a specific spot and you have to use your R door burst and then uh, it'll make the surroundings for a limited... It can alter the immediate surroundings for a limited duration after which everything reverts to its original place. So I'll show you what that means. It's really, really cool. Look at this. So you use your C ability right and then it brings like little things up here and then you get to like climb little things and get to like places that you thought that you couldn't get to and that kind of stuff it's so cool i think it's so interesting yay yay stuff I thought my reach was a little bit better than that. Ah, I die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Let me use one of these. So we can get some health back upon hitting him. I'm gonna die! No! Oh my gosh, I'm getting so close to death. Oh my gosh. What? You're so fast! Why are you so fast? That was so scary. Ah! He's gonna kill me. No! <laughs> I was gonna hit him at the same time that he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up just dying. <laughs> That's so sad. Let's go this way around this time so we can see the other enemies. So I know that there's one really annoying one that's gonna start shooting us so we can try and get up to this one. Because it's really annoying. Nice. And then we can get this thing. Are you coming up here? <laughs> the movement and the AI of the enemies is pretty good too, I must say. Um, I think everything so far has been really, really good. <laughs> oh my word, he hit me so hard. I don't want to fight both of you at the same time. Is that a possibility? Oh, that didn't work very well. Can I kill this guy first? Ah! <laughs> there you go. Two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Owie! Oh. <laughs> so unnecessary. Okay. Oh! Nice! More mask shards. That's very exciting. Okay, let's go to the side. We have a couple of people that we need to kill here. Nice! Anything? No? Okay. Another one. <laughs> what happened, bro? <laughs> Are you okay? Gosh, so dramatic. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so dramatic. I think he didn't know I was there, so I think he firstly got a very big fright. Uh, okay, let's kill this guy. 
kill these guys first again. We don't have to worry about them. Okay, okay. Swap. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, let's go. I'm so happy that I put on that extra thing because that's making such a big difference. Yay! Lumberjack mask. Let's go. And warrior's brew. Okay, right. Sorry, I never mentioned about the epistite things. So, these fragments that you can pick up every now and then, I don't know where they are. Oh, here. These fragments are what you use to get your um, weapon upgrades, which is really, really cool. So, this is what you use to upgrade your weapons. You need to find a place, obviously, where you can upgrade your weapons first before you do that. But, yep, you can upgrade your weapons too in this game, which is really cool. There is so much already in this game, but I mean, that's like, what's a thing? Ooh, a funeral stash, nice. Um, oh, I can pick up my souls that I lost. I mean, my memoria that I lost. <laughs> my memories. My memories of a time gone by. Yabba dabba doo. Okay. Nice. Postal harpoon. Nice. Whew. So we're over here. I uh, think we've cleared out this area. We can go and clear out all of the enemies first before we move on, but uh, we've pretty much cleared out this area already, I think. Uh, so now it's just a matter of going to the next area. Ow! Oh my gosh. Owie, how did you hit me? I don't understand. There we go. Ow. Oh my gosh, everyone's stunning me constantly. Stop walking back. You're so annoying. <laughs> Bro. Mm. My goodness me. I'm getting through there. Um, I'm unraveling them quite quickly, aren't I? You dead? Okay. Cool. Uh, the two that were walking up here are dead, I think, already. Uh, so I think we have to go up here now. If I remember correctly. Yeah. There is another gardener here. And then I saw there's another lumberjack at the top too. So there's that. Nice. Look at us. We're doing great. Armonia expansion! So I think if I'm right, that means that we have an extra potion now that we can use at least. Um, the Armonia potions. Uh, which is our health potions, essentially. So very exciting. Very exciting. Um, I wonder if I should go do that or if I should try and take on this the sky first. Let's go level up first and then we'll go up there. Level up. Uh, we'll level up our fortitude again, I think. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, 
Memoria costs 700. Wow, we're getting pretty intense. We're level 8 now already, which is quite cool. Uh, not very high level at all, but uh, we're getting there. We're uh, making some movements into uh, better territory, I guess. We fight over here so I don't have to worry about that stupid guy with the stupid... Um, what's it called? Owie! Oh, I tried to roll. Oh my gosh, I keep missing. Yay! More Gardener Mosque shards. Very exciting. Ah! <laughs> he hit me out of the sky. <laughs> That's all I needed to do is I needed to dodge him once. Gee, dude, you're not very strong, are you? It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Not to me, but... <laughs> I was just kidding. I wonder if I should take out this gardener just so that I know I won't get like... caught with my... my knickers in a twist. <laughs> Something. I don't know. I don't know what I was going for there. Hi, can you come back down over here, please? So I enjoy rolling, so I don't like locking onto the enemies because I feel like it's it makes it a little bit more difficult. It shouldn't. Nice, let's go. Yay, more gardener mask shards. There we go. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go. Oh, I took a little bit of damage, which is not great. Because I need all of the help I can get with this guy now. But we'll try our best. He's just chilling, staring out into the distance. Oh, there's another person here. Okay. Top back. Ah, oh, he hurt me. Yay! <laughs> we unraveled him. Yeah! Lumberjack mask, let's go! Cool. <laughs> let's come to the top here and we can see this beautiful view. Isn't it so gorgeous? Like the water, the reflections, the sunset, the colors, everything is just, oh, it's so gorgeous. This game is so cool and I love like the pollen that's flying down and stuff and I'm so happy that I'm not in game myself because if I were in the game I'd have major allergies. So I'm very happy that I myself am not in the game. Uh, so. Reality riffs. So we've got these people. I don't know. 
I don't know what to tell you. I didn't understand it when, it when it happened. I'm not understanding it the second time, but you know what? Whatever. I don't mind. <laughs> they can do whatever they want, I guess. But this is really cool too, so... There is like some rifts in time. Where you essentially like... I guess you like activate the memories? This is kind of what my, my idea is of the game. The fact that we're always talking about memoria and that kind of stuff and memories and that kind of thing. Um, I think that you access essentially like the memories. I don't know why we can access the memories, but um, it's kind of cool. <laughs> there is a volcano in the distance too, which is pretty intense. And it's so gorgeous. Anyway, let's run inside. And uh, let's see what this castle brings. We are here. Welcome to Quinta, the city of Actor. Oh. Okay, sorry, I just wanted to activate that so we don't get caught with our knickers down. Righto! Ah, I can almost hear the churning of gears inside that expressionless noggin of yours. Who, what, where, when, why? Hush. Hush, my promising prodigy. Head for the castle, atop the hill, and all will be revealed. Isn't it so cool? There's voice acting and everything in the game too. Hush, Isn't it so cool? Hush, my promising prodigy. It's so cool. So, so, so cool. So, it looks like there is some kind of festival or something happening in this castle. Um, there's a lot of dancing. There's a lot of people like running around and dancing and drinking and having a very very merry time uh, I'm not quite sure what the whole situation is but uh, yeah it looks like there's some kind of festival and uh, I have a lot of questions surrounding this festival um, but we'll figure it out in a second so we've got some more shards and stuff which is exciting right so there is a door here, but we can't open it. We have to open it from the other side, so... <laughs> Definitely a soul psych game. <laughs> right? <laughs> I got another inspiration. Cool. Okay. So, I got a very big fright because the first time I came up here... They just randomly started fighting me. Or was it because I took the stuff? Maybe it was because I took the stuff. Let's do that again, I guess. Are you angry because I took your stuff? Are you gonna fight me? Oh, it was when I went in there! Okay, so, okay. <laughs> Owie. Owie. Oh wow, they stay like that for quite some time. Ow. You're so annoying. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> oh, my bad. I pressed F by accident. Although, maybe not by accident, because <laughs> I kind of needed it, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so some of them attack you, some of them don't. So, like, those two now obviously attack me, but then if I go up to this guy, he's just, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's just having a grand old time. <laughs> nice. I don't know what's this way. Marinate the body over for deeper flavor. The body? What body are you talking about? What body are you talking about? Are you giving me a recipe? 
Maybe I need to listen to them. Silver wasp. So I got this one before, but then it had like an exclamation mark um, around it or next to it. So I didn't know if I could use it or not. I guess we'll see. Maybe I can use it because it's a new it's a new sword. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> It would probably be very good for like a dex build, maybe. Can I level up again? No. <laughs> Why are you telling me to level up? Um. Can I change this one with the silver wasp? I can. It's a long sword though. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Malano and sick. Ah, I see. That's pretty cool. I want to see how that works. Practice with the sword a little bit more. Oh, it's so quick. It's so nice. My goodness. That's really quick. <laughs> that's really cool. I like that. Can I have just one of you come at a time? I hate that. so quick it's so quick I really like it my goodness it's so nice and quick <laughs> alrighty okay let's continue that way but we'll go to the right because I know the left is scary um, that's all I'm gonna say Yay! Cool! Okay, okay. This is scary as well though. So we're just gonna do this. I'm really worried about this. We're gonna see how this goes though. There is a very big scary beastly man. so much let's change owie <laughs> Does more of a reach than mine. <laughs> he hurts me so much. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? Oh my gosh, but I recall. He doesn't do nearly as much damage as he used to. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Take, take a potion, take a potion. Thank you. 
Time to Curtis Mark Sh Mas blah, 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 blah. Curtis Musk Shark. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, we did it! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that hurt so bad though. So bad. It's okay. It's okay. We did it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we open this door? No, the door is locked. Okay. I think we can open this door, but the problem is that this this is this is kind of scary. I'm pretty sure there's like enemies in here and stuff, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hundred year brew. What is that? Hundred year brew, a brew mixture of herbs, considerably increases V's defense over a long duration. That's really cool, isn't it? Oh, this one also boosts your stamina regeneration upon use over a certain duration, but slightly. It also says it appears to be the piece of an ancient instrument. Uh, this one says, wards off the sense of vertigo in the midst of battle. Its recipe is a long kept secret. <laughs> Sips of the past. That's cool. A truly nostalgic brew. Drinking it increases the amount of memoria gained by defeating enemies over a long duration, which is quite nice. Its intense taste recalls the bitterness of past memories. It brings one back to distant and possibly never seen before places. Very cool. Alrighty. Okay, so I know down there is some scary stuff that's happening. Can we go up here? There is a chest here. That's nice. I don't think I got this one before. Harmonia amplifier. What does that do? Harmonia Amplifier. A marvelous fruit, one of two fabled treasures of the Tree of Change. Increases the healing effectiveness of the Harmonia Amber. That's cool. Nice. That's very, very cool. Awesome. Very exciting to have those things. Oh. Huh. Isn't this so pretty? It's so cute. The like vines and everything. It's so 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 cute and so Italian. I, I actually really really adore it. Okay, so I know what's happening. So we'll interact with it and then we'll take one of those things. So sometimes, so what that said, sorry, I forgot. Um, so what that said is sometimes you have to defeat all of the enemies in one location before you can move on to another location. So that's what we need to do now, is we need to defeat all of the... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Stop, 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 stop! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die! Oh my gosh. Please die. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so screwed. I'm so unbelievably screwed. Oh gosh. I really hope they didn't change anything here. But there is these little like creepy crawly things. Oh they changed it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep, okay. They're gonna come up the stairs. Oh my gosh, please. Oh, I really don't want to die right now. What if I did this? Oh, maybe I need to lock on to them when I do that. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. 
Oh, I really hope I'm good. Oh, I got a little bit of health back from that too. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Oh. That was kind of scary. We can go through here. And this is where we end up. Okay, okay. We're fine. <laughs> I think. We're okay for now. We're very low on health. Like super, super duper low on health. But it's okay. We're we're okay. We're we got this. We got this. Okay, let's go sit down. <laughs> I really need to go sit down now. Oh my gosh. We can also level up, which is quite exciting. So I'm going to end it off over here for our first part, but I am going to do a second part if you want to see more of the game. If you're already convinced, remember there's a link in the description that'll take you to the Steam store. You can download the demo for yourself. It is eight hours worth of content, which is so insane. And you can also wish us the game so that you get notified when it comes out. This was Notria The Last Song. Absolutely incredible game so far. I am so impressed. And thank you so much again to Jama Games for inviting me to try this demo. If at any point in this video I made you smile or made your day just a little bit brighter, then please consider giving this video a like. And if you would like to see similar content, I did play the entire Elden Ring on my channel. You can go check that out. And whilst you're there and you feel like subscribing, then please feel free to do so. I hope that you have or had or have had a very good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!